Hello all my dear friends, this is Divakar. So today uh, I will explain about the settings, parameter settings, functions about the one of our advanced master M358 machines. So now I am going to explain about the settings of this panel in master M358. So uh, now I am going to explain about the function and setting of TFT LCD display panel. This is thin print transist uh, transistor panel. So in this, this is a channel setting. This is, a, this is the LCD display. So here in the home position, you can see all the settings. So it is uh, the FP. This is the MS material, 1.2 mm size, uh, consumable wire, and it is 82% argon plus 18% CO2. This is the advanced process that we are going to use for the thin material. It is the max cool to control the heat input. This is the 40 mod, uh, and it is you know, of trigger. It is 40. It is the wall fit speed that is 5 meter per minute uh, as per the setting here. This is the ampere is also you can see here in the display. It is the thickness of fillet, thickness of plate in fillet weight joint it is showing here this is to control this is to control the fine tuning so now we'll explain how to set so initially you will go here in the weld assist so in the weld assist you will press this knob this is the options of the all the materials aluminium ms material stainless steel and copper suppose i'm going to set here for the MS material, you selected the FE. Now again, it is the wire material. So wire material also FE will select here. Also another wire material option we have the FE metal, FE metal, and ALMG5 for 5356 grade filler material. It is ALSI5 aluminium silicon five for actually 4043 grade filler. Consumables. This is chromium nickel molybdenum 1912 for essence stainless steel uh, curve setting. It is uh, for the brazing curve. It is uh, CUL8, CULSI3, and also CUSM. It is for the flux coat stainless steel material. So now I'm going to use the M for the MS material. So it is next term is the wide diameter. So I'm setting here 1.2 filler wire size it is a shielding gas so it is the uh, for this material fe it is appropriate gas shielding mixture is 82 percent of rm and 80 18 percent of co2 so we have selected this this is the process so through the weld assist we will select the process so now it is the types of joint so this is different types of joint here it is for the butt joint it is for the corner joint it is for the edge joint or lap joint, T joint, tube joint, and plate plus tube joint. So now I am going to use uh, the T joint. Okay. So this is the different positions. So in this fillet joint, when going this position, PB, and uh, as far as the European standard, it is the thickness of the sheet. I am going plate. I am used to uh, weld is uh, 3 mm plate thickness. So I am going to save this channel so it has total number of 100 numbers of channel you can see here so i'm going to save it in six number channel now it gets saved by green trick and we can go here in the channel number six so if you uh, we want to uh, change some of the setting here so you can change from here it is a trigger trigger logic now we set 40 it is the pre-gas creep start. Now I am going to uh, change the process, welding process. So welding process earlier it was synergic. So now I am going to use the max cool. It has a different process, synergic, pulse, double pulse, max cool, max position. Also it has option of max speed. So uh, I am going to use the max cool. So advantage of max cool is what? So explaining here. So so yes, it is for the 3 mm thickness of the plate. 
so yes it is 4.5 meter per minute wide feet speed plate thickness is 3 mm and it is fillet weld joint and uh, this is the max cool process you can see in the lcd display tft panel so what is the what is actually the max cool actually mainly used this is the advanced technology advanced process you are going to use in campy for the welding purpose it is mainly max cool is especially used for use the heat input up to 32 percent is and due to heat reduction there is very less distortion there is uh, no chance of burn through kind of problem in this max cool so actually the max cool it is mainly used to reduce the heat input in in this 32 percent of heat redu uh, reduction we can get and uh, to control the distortion uh, to get the stable arc and to reduce the chance of to remove the chance of burn through kind of problem we can get in the max cool process and uh, another is the uh, this is actually used for the thin, thin sheet also uh, for root pass welding process so also another process is the max position for the position welding uh, in the challenging position this is a combination of higher and lower power so high in the higher power it gives the penetration and lower power cools the molten droplet in the challenging process under the influence of gravity so uh, uh, we can cool the material and protect it uh, from uh, protect it from the dropping of the droplet under the influence of the gravity and third is the max speed process mainly used for the high production uh, to uh, do welding at a higher travel speed we can increase the travel speed in this up to 70 percent is in the max speed this is uh, advanced from uh, form a spray mode of uh, uh, transfer of the material and uh, it is a combination of high frequency and uh, the low amplitude so definitely we can increase the travel speed up to 70 percent in this so now we are going i'm going to set one uh, uh, i'm going to use the welding in this setting as per the setting in the max school so uh, how to which kind of bead geometry which kind of bead appearance we are getting so you can see after the welding so now i'm going to uh, do the welding now i'm going to do the welding so you can see the smoothness of weld bead in this uh, this is too much heat input control and spatter free welding and very smooth bead appearance uh, you can see so also in this there is a uh, option of also in this uh, master m358 series uh, machine there is option of welder option that is weld i art visor plus welding processor so in this you can connect here you can see here this one so th this is the option of the wifi connection so through the after doing it on so it is always on because we have already connected this uh, weld i art vision so that all the weld data we can collect uh during the welding we can collect the weld data in our system in the cloud connectivity so you will connect it to the wifi and uh, after connecting it all the weld data you can directly collect in your system and uh, even after 1 years 2 years and 5 years you can see the same weld data for the documentation process So during the welding, uh, the it is uh, totally all the data. Whatever you did welding, the amperes, this is the voltage, uh, 
energy consumption, wide feed speed, arc on time, and particular date when you did welding, and uh, weather personal details, and uh, all the in the welding procedure management, all the top WPS, everything you can set uh, and you can collect the data uh, in the system. So, so we have the uh, actually the option of Art Vision, Weda Art Vision. This is the welding management software to collect all the data, whatever you will do in, during the welding. So directly you can see after the completion of the welding, you can directly see all the weld data collected in the system. Also, you can get the graph between the time and the voltage, between time and the current. And you can also download all the in the PDF format and the Excel sheet also. So uh, in this, the advantage of this system with the art vision is that there is no need of any hardware. Directly you can connect it through the Wi-Fi to our connectivity system in this uh, in this machine. So uh, see here in the so here in this laptop. So this is the Wild Eye Art Vision. So suppose we want to see the latest data, whatever you have you did welding. So you can see here the weld time. Time particular date is today. Whatever we did the welding. Also you can see the last weld data. A huge number sir, that what you have uh, done in this machine, you can collect all the data. So this is the uh, uh, 12th May and timing is also showing here. We did the welding uh, on the 5.39. Uh, and this is the arc on time was 41 seconds. This is the uh, machine name is Master m 358 g This is the average current value, average voltage value, average wide feed speed value. And uh, this is the filler wire conjunction. Uh, it is in meter also 3.07 meter and also in the uh, in the weight form that is 27 gram it is the total energy consumption in watt hour so you can see the graph here also the graphical representation of this about the machines this is the max cool process also indicated here and the wire size and argon co2 mixture here also so you can see the representation, graphical representation. Another welding in this also. So this is the minimum value, this is the maximum value. At all the points you can see the ampere is on the particular time. In the graph, it is graph between the ampere is and the time. This is the graph between graphical representation of the voltage and the time so all these things you can collect so it has the inbuilt uh, connectivity there is no need of any uh, hardware only need of art reason so you can connect it to the master m358 and more advantage of this process is that through the one uh, system of art vision if you will purchase one art vision software so directly you can connect the even hundreds or more than hundreds of more for machines in this. So no need to purchase a separate uh, software Arc Vision for that. Only you need to purchase a single Arc Vision, and you can connect very easily uh, the huge numbers of machine in a single uh, software. So thank you so much, all my dear friends, for watching this video. All the best.